Good morning. Let's give God thanksgiving and praise right now for the Word of God. Father, we just bless you and we give you thanksgiving, Father, for the Word. We thank you, Father, for the living, incorruptible seed of the Word of God that liveth and abideth forever. Thank you so much, Father, for feeding us with the fresh manna from heaven today. Now let's acknowledge the Lordship of Jesus. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is Lord over my family. Jesus is Lord over my nation and Jesus is Lord over the nations of the earth in Jesus' name. Can we put a time limit on God? What is God's will concerning when I receive something that I ask for? Is it up to him? As to when I receive, well, we've been looking at um, instances in Jesus' ministry and finding out that when someone came to him, he immediately healed them. Not one person did he say, go and um, suffer a little while, or this one's really, really bad what religion says, that uh, God says that you need to, uh, that it's a blessing for you to suffer with sickness. No, sickness and disease is a curse that Jesus bought and paid for. And he was sent forth for the very reason of uh, destroying the works of the devil. In Acts 10, 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. So right there, you see that all sickness and all disease comes from the devil, and all health and healing comes from the Father in heaven, from Jesus. So knowing that, because that is the truth, then we refuse sickness and disease and we take the health. So we looked at some uh, situations, real life situations, as Jesus walked the earth. And let me read you these two scriptures again because these are vital to you understanding and getting a revelation that Jesus was the will of God in action on the earth and that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and that he never changes. So in John chapter 4, verse 34, And Jesus said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me, and to finish his work. And then John 6, 38, For I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. So whatever we see Jesus do, that is the will of the Father. Whatever we see Jesus do in the scriptures, as the scriptures are given to us, then that is the will of the Father for you and me right now. So today we're going to look at another situation where... Uh, or another example, where people have taken this to say that, well, God will give you a uh, an ongoing healing. Or let's see, that's not the exact words they say. A, a continuous healing. Rather than just receiving the healing like right away. And they've used this very passage for that. But let's look at the truth of this passage. And Father, I thank you that the Holy Spirit opens everyone's understanding to hear and receive this now in Jesus' name. This is in Luke 17, verse 12. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him 10 men that were lepers, which stood afar off. Now that's significant. 
to see that they stood afar off. So remember that. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priest. Now, what was he saying? Jesus called things that be not as though they were. What he was saying by saying, Go show yourselves to the priest, is you are cleansed. So this was his way of saying, you are cleansed by saying, go show yourselves to the priest because in the law, lepers had to go to the priest to, uh, for them to confirm their healing. So Jesus always spoke in faith. So he said, go show yourselves to the priest. Now listen to this. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. So they were afar off. They called out to Jesus and said, Lord, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them that they were lepers, he said unto them, go show yourselves to the priests. And so what they did is they immediately turned and went. They believed his word. They acted on his word. And as they went, they were cleansed. Okay, now listen to this. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. Okay, let's pause right there. This story is so rich. So they, first of all, were afar off. Jesus said, go show yourself to the priest, or in other words, you're cleansed. And as they went, so the way I see it is as they turned they were immediately healed because this one turned back and glorified God and he was still close enough that he could fall at Jesus' feet and give him thanksgiving. So it wasn't an ongoing healing. It was an immediate healing. So just get the picture of this. They called out. Jesus said, go show yourselves to the priest. Remember, they started out afar off. And then as they went, immediately they were cleansed. Because, and it wasn't while they were walking to the priest. It was as they went, as they turned around and took a step, they were cleansed because they acted on the word of Jesus. And then they were still so close that this one glorified God and fell down at Jesus' feet. So no, this was not an ongoing miracle. They received it instantly. But listen to the rest of this. I love this. He said that he fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith hath made thee whole. So Jesus again, because he spoke that all ten were cleansed, he believed that what he said came to pass. And that's why he said, were there not nine cleansed? Because he knew that he had spoken for all 10 to be cleansed. So he said, no, he said, were there not, he said, where are the nine? Were there not 10 cleansed? So, but let's go back to this one that turned and fell down at his feet and gave God thanks. Saints, this is another 
going another direction, but there's power in thanksgiving. Power in thanksgiving. Because this one gave thanks, gave glory to God. Always, always give glory to God for what he does for you. Give glory to him for healing you. Give thanksgiving to him. And it says that he said, Arise, go your way. Your faith hath made you whole. So this one turned back, began to thank God and worship him and praise him. And he was made whole. The others were cleansed. But whatever part of this man's body that had been eaten off by the leprosy was totally made whole. Power in thanksgiving. And it's a good time of the year to be talking about that. But the emphasis, again, is on the fact that they were healed immediately. This was not an ongoing miracle as it has been preached. They were healed as they went. That is the will of the Father for you, is to be healed immediately. Bartimaeus was healed immediately. The two blind men were healed immediately. The man that uh, was a leper that came to Jesus that said, I know you can, if you will, heal me, was healed immediately. And these 10 lepers were healed immediately. This is the will of God for you. His timing for you, his will is now, immediately, immediately for you to receive any healing in your body, every healing in your body. No allergies, no bad eyesight, no bad hearing, no sickness or disease of any kind, and then to remain healed. This is the will of God because this is Jesus, the will of God in action. This is such a good word, saints. Let this word grow up in you that now is your appointed time. So let's say this again. Say, behold, now is the day of my healing. Behold, now is my appointed time. I am healed immediately. I receive it by faith now in Jesus' name. It is the will of God for you to be healed and whole now and to remain healed and whole and never be sick for the rest of your long life on this earth. Receive it by faith, believe it, say it, and have it. Remember all day, Jesus is, present tense, Lord, and Jesus has healed you and you are healed immediately in Jesus' name.